So you're thinking of applying to UREP, which stands for Undergraduate Research Apprenticeship Program. So what is this? Quickly, basically what you do is that when you apply, they pair you with a PhD student that you get to do research with, and you get to learn to see what a research is really about. Who am I? So I'm Juan David Campolargo, and I did the Europe program back when I was a freshman, my first semester, and I actually was lucky enough that I ended up getting the first choice. So hopefully this video could be useful as you're applying to this program. So how does it work? So first, they give you a list of all researchers, and it could be any field, so depending, so let's say I was interested in engineering in, in college, but I wanted to research more about biology, so those were the things I applied. Let's say you are a psychology major, but you want to do research in politics. You can also do that. So it doesn't matter what your major is. It, what matters is actually that you actually are interested in the topic. So you look at the list of people, and then you select the top three. For me, I selected biophysics, some politics uh, theory stuff, and then also some mRNA, also biology topic. So after that, you select the top three, and then you have to write some essays, which we'll cover later in the video. Let's talk about the interview process. Pretty much an in a uh, conversation with this research PhD student, which will be about, I don't know, depending five to six years older than you, sometimes less. So just a conversation like, hey, what's up? What's your name? Etc. Uh, what are you interested in? Why do you want to do this? Are you doing this because you're actually interested in biology or psychology or whatever topic? Or are you just doing this to put in your resume? So try to find something that you actually want to do. So let's go into the specifics now. Three things. So number one, application. Like I said, you need to find the top three and you need to say why exactly you want to do this. So how can you write the essay? Well, you need to write a story, exactly what you want to learn and how to learn it. After that, then you get to write the essay. For instance, I will show you my essay now so you can see what I wrote and what the style I actually ended up doing. So now let's talk about my experience. So how it works is that you also have to take a class, a three credit hour class. I won't go into much into it because it's required and it's somewhat interesting. So my experience. So my experience was simple. So I, got, I had weekly meetings with my PhD uh, advisor. In the beginning, was learning a lot about biology, so basic biology. I had to learn about different, different types of cells and how everything that I was learning, how it would match the bigger question we were researching, which was antimicrobial peptides. I will put a link of the presentation I did for one of the meetings. So after that, it was composed of meetings, a lot of learning, a lot of researching. And also, I would attend the principal investigator, the PI, basically the head of the lab, weekly meetings where all the PhD students of the lab would give a presentation on whether on their research or an interesting paper they had read over the week. So over the course I was in the lab, I had to do three of them. So two, use research progress, and one, just literally. So I read a paper, and then I give a presentation based on the paper. I will also leave the link below of that video. So also something that is required from the Eura program is that you need to have do a presentation. So you make a poster and you present it on the undergraduate research conference where people come and ask you questions and it's a really fun experience to see what it's you know what the PhD people do once they are in grad school. Just a poster and presenting what it is about that you're doing. So the poster, again, I, I made a poster on, remember, I think PowerPoint. So pretty simple PowerPoint. I'll put the picture here. And yeah, that was pretty much after that. So and after the, the Europe program, because it's only one, one semester thing, I actually got invited to work in the lab. And I kept working for about two years since I started working with them. And it was a lovely experience to learn about academia, what research is about. Also something I learned is about how similar startups and research labs are. I'll put a video uh, about that topic. And, and really it's an experience to see if you like it, which is what it should be about. What, what did I think about it? You know, research is it's fine, but I, I like more fast-paced things. So, but overall it was a really good experience where I got to learn Python, simulation, computational physics, and computational biology topics. And you know, I didn't do this for a resume or anything, but once you're trying to do an application or anything like that, it definitely could help you because you have something to talk about. So that's it. Once again, you 
you have the application, you write the essays, you have the interview, and that should be it. I'm wishing you guys the very best, and please leave a comment, send me an email, DM, anything you want, and I'll be more than happy to help because I think it's a really nice experience, and please, please, please take advantage of it because I personally had a great time, and I, I'm sure you will as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I'm here to help you guys. So thank you. Greetings to Arim and Patel.